Greetings, family. Welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure that you tap that subscribe button on your way out the door. Join the family. We would love to have you. If you've been here before and you're already a part of the family, you already know love is love. You are appreciated. Thank you for your support. Family, I have an important message for you guys today. And I was really excited to share this message because it just gives change. It gives upgrading, right? So before I get into that, let me just give the quick disclaimer. This is a collective reading family, which means that the message may or may not resonate with you. If it resonates with you, make sure that you tap that like button and drop a comment. Let us know how it resonates with you. Let us know how you feel about this reading, okay? I love feedback. If it doesn't resonate with you, please do not forget it's very important to not force these things to fit, okay? Like if you have to think for too long, like does it fit? Does it not fit? Do I live this? Do I not live this? Is not your message. If you would like a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me where I read your energy alone and you're able to ask me an unlimited amount of questions, you can go ahead and book that down below at the link in the description box, okay? And without further ado, family, let's get into it. My beautiful, beautiful people, we're starting this reading off with the Knight of Staffs in reverse. And I wanted to clarify that card because the Knight of Staff speaks of the severing of something, something coming to an end. But it didn't feel like sad energy, you know? It felt like, okay, something's ending because something new is beginning. So I asked for clarification and they gave me the Six of Cups, a bright, the Four of Coins in reverse, and the Ten of Staffs in reverse. So let's break that down. So with the Knight of Staffs speaking of the severing of something, right? The severing of a connection. It could be the end of a mindset, the end of a belief system, right? For some of you, it could mean that you are no longer at a certain place in your life. For some of you, it could be that you are no longer struggling, right? You are no longer in poverty. You are no longer fearful. So let's see what this Knight of Staffs is speaking of. With the Six of Cups here to clarify the Knight of Staffs, the Six of Cups upright speaks of something that happened in the past and memories of something that happened in the past. So again, it's something that was a way of life for you that you are no longer living. And so some of you are reflecting on that and you're having memories of it. Some of you, for some of you, these memories are painful and the reason why you keep traveling back to that place is because you are cleansing it's releasing it's a form of release and i don't know why <laughs> they have me thinking of like vomit okay so it's like you know things come up because they need to it needs to be cleared out and that's what's happening these things are coming up because you're clearing them out and i feel like it's because you have something fantastic coming your way and so the the six of cups says memories or people from the past may reappear so for some of you it's the end of a relationship right or i feel like it's a relationship that you may have walked away from some time ago but you are just now beginning to be in a place where you are you can say that you've healed right and that you're over it and so it's coming up because it's like, it feels like it's like the last bit of chunks <laughs> coming up. I'm sorry, that's just the image that they gave me. But it's saying that you guys may be making a move of some type. And I feel like for some of you, this is a physical move. And for others of you, this is like a, a energetic or spiritual move. Like you're literally moving on to another level, right? Like I'm moving on. I'm hearing Maya's song, I'll be moving on. That's a throwback. <laughs> but yeah, like some of you guys are just, you're on a new level. You're moving on to a new level. So that's why I felt like that Knight of Staffs wasn't a card of sadness and suffering. It felt like, okay, something is ending and something amazing is beginning. So we're going to see exactly what this is that's going to be beginning so the six of cups also 
is a card that reminds you to enjoy the simple things, right? So the simple things could be like, okay, well, you know, when I was in this place before, I wasn't able to do X, Y, Z, fill in the blank, right? But now I am able to do that. So that means they want you to be present. They want you to pay attention to these things, pay attention to the newness and enjoy it, right? Instead of being stressed out about the fact that, you now are not living the life that you had to live before or you now have to move on. And um, I'm seeing some of you like being stressed out because maybe some of you did move, right, physically. And so now you're stressed out because you're like, dang, I got to do this, I got to do that. They're like, no, they want you to enjoy the fact that you are now in a new place and this new place is going to bring you new opportunities. You're going to be making new connections. You're going to be having new ideas as well because I feel like some of you were living in a place of clutter before and this could be mental clutter or physical clutter. But now that you're moving, a lot of you got rid of some things physically and emotionally or mentally. And so now you will be able to enjoy that, that clarity. And remember the, as above, so below, as within, so without. So clarity around you is clarity within you. Bars. <laughs> I like that. So the four of coins now, let's break down the four of coins. What does this mean? So the four of coins speaks of some type of interrupted movements, tardiness, obstacles. So a lot of you went through a really rough time. It seemed like there was obstacle after obstacle. And it seemed like success and happiness and peace was impossible i'm hearing a lot of you almost gave up you know some of you were at a place where you like i just don't want to wake up you know and you're here though so that's the beautiful thing you're here so that's why they want you like i'm hearing gratitude some of you need to have like a gratitude journal they want you to be grateful for the fact that you are no longer in that place because we even have the ten of staffs here in reverse and the ten of staffs speaks of emotional drama difficulties deception so yeah some of y'all went through some crazy shit and you didn't think that you would make it out of it but you did so they want you to get out of that place where you're like i'm hearing whiny <laughs> okay so basically they want you to look for the good you know how sometimes when we have trauma that we have not yet healed from right we tend to like all right let's use this as an example love is a perfect example let's say that you were in a really crappy relationship and for some of you this is actually going to resonate Let's say you were in a really crappy relationship and now you meet a person that wants to take care of you and they're so good to you and you're just like, no, this can't be true. You know, this is too good to be true. <laughs> what are you hiding? They don't want you to be like that. They want you to be grateful for those moments. Be grateful for the simple pleasures. And the more you show gratitude for the little things, the more you will attract bigger things to be grateful for, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to y'all. So now, Moving on from this ten of staffs, right? We got the three of staffs here. And the three of staffs in reverse speaks of a positive and complete end to issues that plague your emotions. So yeah, you guys were going through some stuff and now it's over. Like you're not going through it anymore. So when they start to send you your gifts and when you start to gain access to your your inheritance, they want you to recognize what it is because you worked so hard. Some of you prayed, you manifested, you did work under the moon, you did crystal work, you went to therapy, you did uh, shadow work. Some of you did all of this stuff, right, to manifest a better time for you. So now that this better time is here, they don't want you to ignore it because you're afraid that it's too good to be true. Why do you feel like you don't deserve this? <laughs> that's a question okay and i want you to answer that too why do you feel like you don't deserve this so be grateful enjoy it because this is just the beginning for you this is just the beginning of your new journey all right so now we got the five of staffs here in reverse and the five of staffs in reverse speaks of complicated disputes deception like oh my gosh yes all of this is what you are leaving 
You don't have to worry about this anymore. It's over. You're not going to believe what card. <laughs> You're not going to believe the card that is here next. We got the 10 of coins upright. The 10 of coins is a card of peace. Peace in all aspects. Physical peace. Emotional peace. No more crying. No more anxiety. Peace in the home. Family gatherings. Like some of you are having welcome home parties some of you are having housewarming parties some of you are having congratulation parties some of you are having farewell good luck parties because you're leaving the ghetto office with the tacky fake ass co-workers and now you're moving on up to another place that is going to appreciate you for your hard work or you're starting your own business or you're being promoted into another office where you may not be in the same location as you were before whatever it is enough 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 congratulations okay congratulations all over the place and peace and just new things and so i did not specifically put on this eshu papa legba playlist but it's playing i just put on some african drumming music ancestral music right and so eshu elegba is coming up and so some of you did go to eshu elegba and he wants you to know he got you some of you did go and give Elegba some some Ebo or offerings, right? And he's coming through for you. So if you didn't know Eshu, Elegba, he goes by multiple names, but he is the road opener. He's the door opener. He can open doors of opportunity for you. Uh, he can literally open doors for you. Like if you're trying to get into a new home or a new apartment, he's the one to go to. And some of you went to him and that's why you are having that success and that happiness. Because I'm telling you, I did not put this playlist on intentionally. <laughs> and it's just a 20 minute playlist playing all Eshu and Legba songs. So that's very interesting. All right. So yeah, with this 10 of coins, ooh, I'm so happy for you. I'm excited because... Judging by the cards that we were getting before, this seems like a major transformation. So the Ten of Coins also speaks of supplied comforts. So you having all the resources that you could possibly need. Some of you are having so many resources that you don't even know what to do with them. I'm seeing some of you just may have received like an inheritance. Maybe a family member passed away, my condolences, and you're getting an inheritance. Some of you may have sued a company and you're getting money from that. Some of you may have sold a home or a vehicle. Some of you, somebody may have even hit the lottery. Like this is, I feel like for some of you, it's something that you did not expect. It's something that is completely like, like no one, like it's something where like, first of all, I'm stuttering. So that's how big it is. But it's something that like you may have told your family and friends and they were like, what? You're lying. Like they don't even believe you. That's how big this is for you. And if this has not happened to you already, look for this to happen to you in the near future. Okay. But this may be why they want you to pay attention and be grateful for the smaller things right because remember i told you before it starts with little things right so for example maybe you go to the gas pump and somebody didn't finish pumping the gas that they left there or maybe you go to the atm and somebody left twenty dollars there right or you find money on the floor or just just little things like that those little things be grateful for them because that is that a uh, 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 telltale sign that you have bigger opportunities and more resources coming to you after that so they want you to acknowledge all of those little things like even if you find a damn penny on the floor i want you to gloss in it <laughs> i want you to act like you found a million dollars on the floor i'm telling you that energy that gratitude energy is going to bring you this big news this big advancement okay and so this uh ten of coins also speaks of well, let me read it. It says, a time to be secure in your home and surroundings, a time of financial and economic stability, a time when happiness surrounds the home. And so remember, the home could be like your physical home, but the home could also be your temple, your body. So keep that in mind. It could just be peace within. Some of you have been healed. 
right? And I just thought about Babalu Aye, the Orisha that heals. So some of you may have had an illness, like some of you may have had cancer, and then you went back and it was like, oh, the cancer's gone. You know, just, just amazing things happening to you. Things that they would call miracles, but it's not miracles, it's deserved. These are things that you manifested, you know, you visualized it and you knew, you, you stayed confident and optimistic that better times were coming and those better times are here. If they're not here yet, they are on the way. So with this 10 of coins here, the ancestors also want you to remember your family. So for some of you, this is family that may have helped you out living breathing family members who may have helped you out when you were going through a rough time for some of you you maybe you stayed with them maybe they loaned you some money maybe you were able to call them and confide in them and get some good advice whatever the case may be take it how it resonates and for some of you you literally went to your ancestor altar and asked them for help <laughs> and they're coming through for you so they want you to remember and remembering could just be like a quick offering or some water or lighting a candle just to say thank you. Not really to ask for anything, but just to say thank you. Okay. So again, gratitude, gratitude all across the board, because that's going to bring you more of this amazing, exciting news. So to close this reading, we got the strength card in reverse and the strength card speaks of indecision and weakness. Okay. This card came out yesterday for the last reading as well. So now in this case, some of you will be self-sabotaging and it will simply be because a, you don't know what you want. So you confuse not only yourself, but you also confuse the universe and they don't know what to bring you. And some of you may also like, I feel like that weakness is you, like I said earlier, not feeling like you deserve it. So again, let's say they sent you an amazing person to love you and you are bombarding this person with trust issues or you just feel like they're hiding something or whatever the case may be, right? They are warning you. They just, they don't want you to self-sabotage. That is the only thing that can get in the way. You are the only person that can throw a monkey wrench in this new phase of your life. You are the only one that can get in your way. Not a hater, okay? Not any evil eyes. Nobody's putting juju on you. If this doesn't work out for you, God forbid, it's simply because of you. So be very mindful of how you move, okay? Remember, to whom much is given, much is tested, and much is expected. So some of you will be tested, okay? Some of you will be receiving, like let's say, for example, you want A, and you end up getting C instead, okay? Be grateful for C because A is coming. So don't, don't sabotage yourself by being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I only got C. Oh my God. Remember, they already told you to enjoy the simple things. Be grateful for the simple things, okay? Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. That is the word of the day, all right? That's all I have for you today, family. Remember, if you need a personal reading to tap more in this energy, you can definitely tap that link down below to book a personal reading with me. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. The link is down below for that as well. If you need anything at all from me, the link will be down below in the description box. Okay. Thank you so much. I send you guys so much love. I send you healing. I send you hugs. Thank you for your love and your support. I know that I say that a lot, but I am incredibly grateful to you because without you there is no elevated mental this channel is growing so quickly and i just i cannot even express the words thank you thank you thank you gratitude 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 so until next time family peace and oneness